all you cool cats and kittens. That's right, today we are going to be making tigers. I'm gonna show you how to draw your very own tiger today. We are inspired by the artist Henri Rousseau. He was an artist from France and he never got to go to an exotic location, but he loved tropical plants and animals. And so he used his imagination to design his own tropical gardens and jungle paintings. So inspired by him, we are going to make our own tigers today. I'm gonna to show you step by step how to draw a tiger. You can make it any kind of tiger you want to. It could be a rainbow tiger. This one's very realistic, but you'll have a drawing in black and white done first, and then we'll paint it in. So have fun, get creative, and don't think that your tiger has to be realistic. Use your imagination and make it super colorful if you want to. Okay. Today, to start your tiger, so you're gonna need a piece of paper. I'm going to use a pencil and a Sharpie. If you wanna use paint later on or something different to outline your tiger with, go ahead. This is just what I have at my house. Um, I'm also gonna use crayons and I'm also gonna use some watercolor paint today. Again, if you don't have paint, then maybe find some crayons, you can do markers, you can really color this project in however you want to. So let's get started. I'm gonna sketch out my tiger today with a pencil so that I can make sure it fits on the page and I can erase any mistakes that I don't like. And then I'm going to trace it with my Sharpie when I'm happy with it. So to start my tiger today, I am going to start pretty much in the middle of my paper, maybe a little bit above. When I'm looking at a tiger's face and I look at the nose, the nose kind of reminds me of a heart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make kind of like a very small, tiny little smiley face curve. And then I'm going to add some sad face curves on each side for the top of the nose. So it's kind of like a heart shape. And then I'm gonna curve it down to come to a point. And so it's kind of like a, kind of like a smushed heart or my tiger's nose, okay? And then, so that's pretty much right in the middle, maybe a little bit above the middle. And then I'm going to add the mouth of the tiger. Now tigers have really big mouths, so don't make this too small. I'm gonna come down straight just a little bit. And then I'm going to make a nice big smiley face curve. It goes all the way up to like the side, so it's equal with the side of the nose. Let me make it match on the other side. Nice big smiley face curve. This one's a little bigger, no big deal. When I have my marker, I can always even those out, but that's good. Okay, now I might have like the tiger's mouth like a little bit open, so I might put a little line in here. I might end up coloring that in dark later. And then I'm gonna give the tiger a nice so tigers have big mouth, so a nice big smiley face curve for the bottom of the tiger's mouth. Now we have the nose and mouth area pretty much drawn in. I'm gonna go up and try to start adding the eyes. So I'm actually gonna go from these smiley face curves and I'm gonna use that to kind of outline my nose and turn it into my eye. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to curve up a little bit more. I might do each one together so they match. And then I'm gonna make it go diagonal up until it gets about the same width as my nose. Make the other one match best I can. And then from there, I'm going to add like a sad face curve for the top of my eye. So this will be the opening of my eye. I'm gonna try to make the other one match best I can. No big deal. Okay. So these are the openings for, or the edge of the top of my eye for my tiger. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to add a smiley face curve. And another one. So I'm gonna make the smiley face curves a little bit smaller than the top curve line so that it has like a little line that's longer on each part. Okay. So now my tiger looks a little creepy right now because it's missing the eye part. So I'm gonna come in. I'm only gonna 
gonna draw like the sides of a circle and then a smaller circle. Cause it, most of the tigers have like a really big colorful part on their eye. I might end up later on like leaving a reflection when I use a Sharpie. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I have some eyes, I have a nose, I have a mouth. My tiger is coming along. It looks very cat-like right now. And at first it might just look like a cat until we add all of the stripes. So now I wanna leave quite a bit of space. I mean, I'm kinda of close to the top, that's okay. Um, I want to add the forehead of my tiger. So I don't wanna make it too big cause I wanna have space for ears. But I wanna make a sad face curve. And maybe a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Then tigers actually have pretty curvy ears. So kind of in between a triangle and a curve. I'm gonna make it really wide because their heads are big and wide. So maybe like I'm making a triangle, but it curves before it comes down. So I'm gonna go out, curve, come down. Okay. Now I am going to make the tiger's face really round. So don't be afraid, it's gonna look really fluffy at first and that's good. I'm gonna come down. And curve in down here, kind of sketchy and light. So it has a nice curvy base. It's very fluffy, it has lots of fur. So down here by the chin, it kind of curves up. Okay, so now I have a nice big cat head. I might go in to my ears and add. Later on, maybe some details, like some shadow, where the ear kind of folds over. I'm, before I add any stripes, I'm also gonna add the line for like the body of my cat. My cat's gonna be sitting down. Don't make it too skinny, because your cat is big. Has a nice big body. So I might add in lines coming down to the bottom. I'm not gonna see a lot of the body, because most of it's off the page. This is a close up of our tiger. And then maybe I'll have a line right here, right here, like where his little legs will be. How he's sitting down, his legs are like in front or her legs. Okay, so I have the outline finished. Before I move on, I also wanna kind of sketch out where I want the details of my stripes. So a lot of the big cats, tigers have stripes going across their foreheads. So I wanna start right between the eyes right here. I'm gonna make one kind of sad facey but then it kind of has a few maybe two lines coming down and then above that I'm gonna make another line and another line they're kind of sad face curve to match the shape of the head and if you have space maybe like one more up here I'm gonna give a curvy line above each eyebrow remember every tiger is different so you can look at tigers online Kind of figure out what kind of tire stripe situation you want. I'm gonna make these stripes a lot thicker later on, but this is just the basic where my stripes will be. I'm gonna put a little smiley face line under an eye, and then I'm gonna make these ones go all the way to the edge of the head. Maybe like three or four on each cheek. Now he's looking more tigery. So I have another one there, this way. Try to make it match the other side. Okay, so it's looking more like a tiger. Later on, I'm gonna have some stripes. I'll kind of wrap around his back to the front. Maybe these ones kind of come across. They don't quite touch. Maybe I'll leave like a lighter space in the middle of the body. And this one can go across his legs. Same over here. Again, look online, look how the, how the stripes really look in real life. Okay, so now I have the pencil part of my tiger. He's all sketched out. And now I'm gonna think about the jungle. Before I move on to tracing this with a Sharpie, I am going to add in my plants for my jungle first. 
You don't have to do this. You could always draw plants and leaves and things like that and glue it around your tiger, like a collage, that'd be really cool. But today, just to use one piece of paper, I'm gonna start by drawing some different plants in the background around my tiger. So, I made my tiger really big. I don't have a lot of space, but I'm still gonna to try to put, definitely like, like the tiger is kind of peering out of grass from down here. So, I'm going to use different, different colored greens and teals, maybe some goldens and yellows, and I'm going to make some tiger, and I'm going to, some grass. I'm gonna go right over my drawing with the crayon. I'm not gonna worry about the pencil underneath right now. I'm just gonna make kind of tall grass growing. So he's peering out. Some are taller, some are shorter, different sizes and shapes. Have fun designing it. Okay, if you use one color, maybe switch to different color or you may use a different lighter color to smoothly fill in what you got. If you want to erase those pencil marks you can, it's up to you. Depends probably on how dark your crayon is to cover it up or not. I'm going to make this really dark and smooth crayon so that later on when I paint over it, the paint will not stick to the crayon. It will just kind of float right on top and I can wipe it off. Now my grassy part is done. So it looks like the tiger's putting out of grass. I might add also some like leaves kind of coming, growing up behind my tiger. So it looks like it's in more of a jungle lease space. I have used my crayons. I have done different kinds of plants. I just kind of used my imagination. Leaves, trees, grasses all around my tiger to look like he is in the jungle. So now you can use a black crayon or you can use maybe a black Sharpie marker. And I'm gonna trace the whole tiger so it looks really nice and clean and outlined. When I'm done tracing, if you do use a marker, then you can use an eraser to erase it. If you use crayon, don't erase your pencil marks, it will smear but I'm gonna outline everything right now. Now, as I'm outlining the stripes, I'm gonna make them a little bit thicker than they originally were, because the tigers actually have like their stripes are kind of thick. So don't be afraid to go over your stripes a couple times, especially in the middles, to make the middles a little bit thicker. Now when it comes to the side of the face, I can leave it smooth how I have it, or if I want to, I can make my cat, my tiger, look a little more fluffy by adding like a zigzag on the edge. So you don't have to make this smooth. You can add like a little bit of a zigzag so it looks more like fur when you go. And same with your stripes. You can make them kind of wiggly. You can even add it looks like more like fur that way if you have like a little bit of a zigzag to your stripe.
think I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to erase my pencil marks and then we can talk about painting. Okay, I have cleaned up my tiger. I've erased the pencil marks and I am ready to get painting. Now remember, if you don't have paints, it's okay for you to use crayons or markers, whatever you have around your house, have fun. Also, today I'm gonna make my tiger look fairly realistic, but I also love when tigers are done with all kinds of crazy colors. In fourth grade, we do a project where they make neon tigers. Sometimes they do rainbows, they let them choose if they wanna make warm colors, cool colors. So do not feel like you need to make your tiger realistic. You can also make your tiger be kind of fun, lucky colors. Rainbow tigers are super fun as well. So have fun with it. Now remember, when we're painting today, if you're painting with me, make sure you're being really gentle with your brush, with your watercolors, you don't want to press too hard on your brush, you are always tickling your brush gently, just like your finger would tickle your hand. So your brush stays in good shape and so do your paints. Don't forget to keep your brush clean if you decide to switch colors so that all your colors stay nice and bright. Okay, I wanna get started. I wanna make most of my tiger an orangey color. If you have just one orange, maybe a yellow, Remember, you can use the side of your tray and you can gently mix and make new colors as well. So you don't have to use the colors that are given to you. You can always kind of blend your own as long as you're being careful and keeping your brush clean. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush and I think I'm gonna start pretty much in the middle of my face. I'm gonna leave some of this around the mouth white. Ooh, you know what? I forgot an important thing. I also like to add Tigers a lot of times have little polka dots right here where their whiskers come out. So before I start painting, I'm gonna add some of those cool dots on the sides. So if you have your marker or crayon, you might wanna do that real quick. That's better, okay. And if you want to add like a little more of a shadow, kind of right here under the nose, that's up to you. How, how big you wanna make the nose. I'm gonna leave around the nose pretty much white. I'm gonna leave like the middle part of this white and I might add a little, a little white on the ears, but the rest of it I'm gonna paint in with different shades of oranges. tiger in and I used some different kinds of yellowy oranges. I left some white spaces. I pulled up a picture online of a tiger and I was trying to kind of look at the tiger while I was painting so I can kind of make it a little more realistic. So maybe with permission you can also pull up your own tiger photo. <clears throat> now um, I still have a few more details. I kind of let this dry a little bit so it's not so wet. I want to make my tiger have a darker nose but not too dark, so I'm gonna make it kind of like a grayish color that was a little more blue. There we go, there's a gray. I'm gonna make the tiger have kind of a gray you nose, know, so it's not quite as black as the Sharpie marker. And then I might add a little bit of like brown to like the eye as like a shadow up to you how much detail you want to add with your paint or your crayons or your markers. I might add a little bit of a shadow on the mouth and like the chin with a little bit of brown maybe. Just to give them a little more 3D look. I might add a little shadow underneath the chin and the neck a little bit. 
Maybe add some more up here in the ears. Let me add some gray in the ears so it's like kind of darker. So that one's kind of fun. Here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit of gray on the eye as well. Just a little bit. So it wasn't quite a white color, but it also wasn't very orangey, so. A little darker. It is up to you how you want to do that. Have fun adding details. When you feel like your tiger is all done and it's pretty dry, you might um, then come back and add also some blue for whatever color you want. Maybe more green. Pretend like there's green behind them for a sky in the background. So I'm going to add little black tips to my ears. And then I'm going to make the sky behind the jungle around my tiger. joining me and making a tiger with me. I hope you had fun. I hope yours is super creative. No matter where you ended up putting your tiger, if you made it realistic or rainbow colors, it's totally up to you. I hope you had a fun time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you back soon.